But the interesting thing about it is a man will never, ever be able to experience what an orgasm feel like for a woman and vice versa. A woman will never, ever really be able to understand what it feels like to be a man and to have an orgasm. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. It's just as impossible of knowing what happens after you die. You could theorize it, right? You can have a conversation about it. You can talk to a doctor. They can explain it to you. But until you actually know what it feels like, you'll never, ever truly know what it means to be a man. And a man will never, ever truly understand what it means to be a woman. And so in order to understand it, you have to start to talk to the people that can then give you the experience. They can give you the insight. They can give you the information. They can tell you. They can break it down for you. Right. And so let's talk about it. Let's deep dive into it. When should you leave? Based off of the information that I've given you so far, when should you leave? When is the relationship truly over? Well, let's add the context. Let's say you got kids. Does that change the dynamics of when you should leave out of that relationship? Does it change the tolerance level and the things that you're willing to put up with with that person that you told that you loved them at one point in time? Did you lie to them? Did you lie to the person that you land next to and told them that you loved them because it was the thing to get their panties off or it was the thing to make him feel good about himself in order to get him through his day? Or did you really mean it? And what did it mean for you to say, I love you? And who taught you what love really is? Let's add the context. How much more tolerance are you willing to go through if you have children as far as what you're willing to put up with and what you're not willing to put up with? Is it easier for you to leave when you don't have children? Do you still love him the same way? What does that look like? What is the dynamics of that? Right? Let's deep dive into it. Is love a feeling or is it an emotion or is it a sense of purpose and duty? Is she any less meaningful to you depending on the life event that y'all going through? Or is that the thing that's then going to break y'all up because she didn't understand what you was going through when your mama died or she didn't know how to be there for you when you lost your job. And so y'all were figuring it out together. And so you didn't feel like she reacted a certain type of way because she's never been through it and she didn't have a father in her life. And all she knew was that her mother worked two jobs and you were unwilling to endure with her because all of y'all vows was based off of. Something that y'all wrote at the altar to make everybody that was in the audience feel good. And you didn't really believe what you were saying. It just sounded good. And so when you said for better or for worse, you really meant for better or for better. And if anything gets worse, then I'm willing to leave you. I'm willing to walk away because I never really loved you. And love was the thing that I was feeling at the time when we were having sex because... It just made me feel good at the time. Were you really ever together in the first place? What is the tolerance level? Who were you looking to for inspiration as to what is it that you should be looking for in a relationship in the first place? Why do we worship celebrities? Why is Jeezy and Jenny Ma the face of what you should be looking for in a wife or in a husband? Why did we worship and when I say we, I'm talking about society in general. Iman Shumpert and Tiana Taylor. When did they become relationship goals? Why do we look at Beyonce and Jay-Z as the faces of what a successful relationship is supposed to look like? What is the tolerance level? If he cheat, are you staying with him? If she cheat, should you stay with her? Can she unsee what it is that she saw? Is her heart already gone? Even if she comes back, is she coming back because this is the thing that she feel like to make her feel good or is the best thing for her? Or is it that she knew that that guy was never going to be with her in the first place and you just always going to be playing second place even though you the one that's taking care of her and you're in a relationship with her? At what point is a woman supposed to leave a man that she decides to have kids with? So many questions. I got a lot of answers for you. I'm not going to leave you hanging. Before I open up the panel to you guys, I got a lot of answers for you. I'm not going to leave you hanging. 
I'm going to give you the game. I'm going to give you the understanding. I'm going to help you to understand how you navigate through this thing in 2023 and beyond called love and relationships. I know you don't believe that it's possible. I know you don't believe that it's something that you can navigate through. I know you don't believe that success is something that you can have when it comes to relationships, but you have a better chance of being successful with the person that you land next to than starting a business. I guarantee you. You have a better chance of being successful with the person that you land next to than graduating college. You got a better chance of being successful to, with the person that you land next to than the person that you go to, that you hanging out with right now because your friends and your family are not going to be there for you. Most important decision that you're ever going to make in your life is the person that you lay next to. Who you choose to have in a bed with you and close your eyes next to, understanding that it's nothing that you can do about it if they wanted to do something to you in your sleep. The most important decision that you're ever going to make in your entire life. So let's start taking it a little bit more serious and let's talk about it. When should you leave? Let's say, let's pose a couple of different scenarios. Let's say he cheats on you. Let's start with my ladies. When and should you leave? Are you emotionally invested in what's going on or are you making a logical decision as to the thing that's best for you? Because most women will say, leave immediately. I can't handle the possibility of him being with another woman. Why? Why can't you handle it? In order for you to determine whether or not you should leave, it's a couple of different things I want you to take into consideration. The first thing is, do you have kids together? The second thing is, what role did you play in him cheating in the first place? And that is the most difficult question that you guys are going to answer because you think that this is based off of, <laughs> you think that I'm just going at women, but I'm asking you a serious question because we all play a role in the things that other people do, even if we can't take 100% responsibility for what it is that they decide to do on their own time. If he cheated on you, it doesn't remove him from the responsibility of, of taking ownership of his actions. And let's be clear, it's not cheating if you're not married. So all of y'all pretending to be in a relationship and you, you just shacking up, that's not really it. You ain't really got it. It was never yours. Stop laying claim to something that's not yours in the first place. All right. So let's deep dive back into it, right? Should you leave? How long have you guys been together? Why is it so easy for you to walk out? And what role did you play in him cheating? So Anton, what do you mean what role did I play in him cheating? I'm not the one that made him put his dick in somebody else. Fair enough. I agree with you. But there's context to be added into that conversation, right? Because why does he no longer want to be with you exclusively? And what did you do to then change the dynamics of the relationship that then forced him to start having a wandering eye in the first place? Let me use, let me throw another caveat in there. Is he doing something any different than he was doing when he first got with you? 